fitting the covers. With the modules now in place, the covers can be fitted. Check that you have all parts required. Each transducer should have a set as shown. Assemble the parts as shown and fit to the centre holes of the rail. On the opposite side of the rail, fit these additional parts. Tighten the nuts and bolts to 100 newton meters using the torque wrench and the Allen key. Fit and tighten the cover center spacer on both sides of the rail. Position the cable around the bolts as shown and secure to the cover center spacer with a tie wrap. Repeat for the opposite side of the rail. Fit the hose tail to the cover and secure with a doughty washer and lock nut on the inside. At the other end of the cover, fit the stopping plug and secure inside with a locking nut. The covers are a universal design, allowing the cables to exit from either end depending on the requirements of the installation. Pass the cable through the hose tail. Fit the cover over the modules, ensuring no cable is trapped between the cover and rail. Secure in place with the cover security screw to hand tightness. A security screw spanner is supplied with the kit. The cables should be seen in this position through the base of the cover. The protection shield can now be fitted with two pop rivets in each. Finally, the labels can be put in place. The final installation should look like this. Repeat the fitting of the covers to all remaining modules. Sealant should be applied to the top and side edges of the cover for additional protection. 